Hey everybody, it's, I know it's a little late, but I hope you all had a happy new year. Um, I want to show you guys some of my favorite snakes that I hatched out in 2022. So this video is part one of a two part. I have the top 12 ball pythons that I produced in 2022, along with a couple of honorable mentions. So uh, I hatched a lot of really cool stuff. I'm so thankful for all the, the luck I had in a lot of my clutches. Just so many awesome snakes. I actually am still hatching a few things that were laid in 2022, uh, now here in January 2023, and lots more good stuff to come. Uh, make sure to check out my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com. I'm uh, in the process of adding a lot of new snakes. I actually just added over 50 new breeder females to the website, uh, actually just today. So um, I'm going to be adding a lot of new stuff to the website over the next couple of months. And it'll also, of course, be on Morph Market as well. So anyway, you guys know I don't like to beat around the bush too much. Let's just get right to it with my top 20 or top uh, part one of my top 12 from 2022. A lot of twos in that, so sorry. Okay, first one. I know these have been produced a few times. Uh, this is my first one, but this is a pastel genetic stripe clown. As you can see, she's extremely well fed. Um, I had to get a genetic stripe clown in there somewhere this year and I actually you know even though this is a pretty simple combination with it I really like the way it looks I think pastel complements this project very well um, you know the, the pattern really stands out you can really tell it's a genetic stripe clown you know some combos the pattern gets kind of muddied and it's hard to see this this nice uh, pattern all the blushing in there so I just wanted to highlight her from this year. And of course, I probably don't even have to mention it, but all these are holdbacks, so, um, you know, they're not available, but I will have uh, more genetic stripe clowns and more, a lot of other things available in the near future. Okay. The second one is a freeway pied. So that one's also possible Enchi. I'm not really sure. This is my first year producing freeway pied stuff, so I'm not 100% sure. But really nice oranges. Um, I like the pattern distribution on this one a lot. He's a really, really cool snake, and I'm really happy to have him, and he'll be a future breeder here at some point. Right now I'm using a, a pastel Mardi Gras het pied and a pastel freeway het pied, both males that I'm breeding to yellow belly. Uh, combo females to produce these. So I'd rather obviously use a visual pied male to take the place of those. So anyway, really, really like him. Make sure to let me know in the comments below which ones that you like the best. You don't have to pick just one either. Okay, the next one, sticking with the yellow belly complex, this is a super stripe pied, or su uh, sorry, a super stripe clown. I really like how the pattern of that turned out. Um, I actually produced some uh, a couple of pastel versions of this too, uh, which are also really nice, but this one I think holds the contrast a little bit better. The darks are a little bit darker on it. And uh, I think there's actually a lot of really cool stuff that you can do with this project. You know, I just haven't even really added much for uh, Kodam genes into it yet. Um, and of course I'd like to make the Super Spectre clown as well. Uh, that way, when you breed that, you know everything in the clutch would be Spectre instead of some being Spectre and some being Yellow Belly, which can make things confusing. Of course, now with genetic testing, you can, if you want to, you can go through the trouble of figuring out which one is in a particular animal. But I really, really like the look of that snake, and I think that there's a lot of potential there. Okay, this next one is one that I get a lot anytime I show a picture online I get a lot of buzz about it. This is a blackhead GHI, I'm going to say probable yellow belly clown. Really nice and dark but high contrast. Really liking this snake. I love blackhead clown stuff. It, it took everything that I could do to not put multiple blackhead clowns into this video but I really, really like the way that looks. I just think that that contrast coming up the side along with a really dark darks 
uh, has a lot of potential to do even greater things with it. But I really like it. And I'm actually considering naming this particular morph the Sultan. Um, I think there might have been a ball python morph years and years ago named the Sultan. It was just a, some other kind of like multi-codom combo. Um, I did a little bit of research on it. I'm not really sure, but uh, let me know what you think of that name. Uh, I didn't originate that name. It was in a um, comment on one of his or her posts. So anyway, let me know what you think of the name Sultan for this particular snake. Okay, and then next, I had to get a dream sickle into this. This is a pinstripe dream sickle. And, uh, you know, these have been produced by a couple other people. Um, I really like pinstripe in albino or lavender albino pides. Um, it just, it eliminates all of the pattern, so you don't really see any of the lavenders from the lavender albino, at least not very much of it. But the yellows are so deep and dark and just vibrant. And I just really, really like that look in Pides. So Dreamsicle Pinstripe. I hatched a few. I actually just showed some in another video pretty recently. Uh, this is the first one that I hatched a couple of months ago. Still pretty small yet. Okay, now the next one. This is probably my number one uh most liked and shared snake on instagram and facebook of the year this is a lavender albino sugar and i every time i post it i get a ton of attention as far as i know there are no other traits it was a uh, um the breeding was a uh, pastel sugar Het lavender to lavender. So I don't really know how any other genes could be in there. It's just amazing that just adding, and I don't, there's no pastel in this. So just adding sugar to the lavender can do that is incredible. And it's definitely a project that I'm going to absolutely try to make more of over the season uh, of 2023. Just an awesome snake. I wish I could have made 10 of them this year. I had a lot of people that wanted to buy this one, but he's going to be staying right here. Okay, so that's it for part one of my 2022 holdbacks. Um, I'll probably be releasing part two tomorrow, so you won't have to wait too long to see the rest of it. And then after that, next week, I'm not sure what I'm going to do a video on yet. In the wintertime, you know, it sometimes gets a little bit difficult to figure out what to do videos on, but I've got a list of a few different topics that I can do. So anyway, stay tuned for that. Please like and subscribe. I know we get a lot of viewers and they're not all subscribed. So if you want to see everything that we produce and you don't want to miss anything, please subscribe. Uh, I've got probably, I don't know, well over 100 videos on my YouTube channel, uh, probably a lot more than that. So uh, anyway, make sure to check out those as well. Also visit my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com to see what I have available. I think I've got probably close to 400 different snakes up there right now. We're gonna hopefully get pictures of another 50 to uh, maybe even up to 100 snakes today, which I'll be posting on there next week. So busy time of year with uh, photographing and, uh, and website work at this time of year. So um, yeah, anyway, make sure to check that out too. And I'll be back again very, very soon with the rest of my top 12. See you soon.